It is August 31st and we are seeding a cereal rye cover crop at the Bloom Dairy in Coldwater, Michigan. This work was funded by a conservation innovation grant from the USDA Natural Resource Conservation Service. Corn silage was recently harvested from this 40 acre field. The soil is a coarse, well-drained, sandy loam. We'll use dairy manure in combination with a cereal rye and compare five establishment methods using slurry seeding, drilling, or broadcast with incorporation. The slurry seeding and manure application will be with this tank and 12-foot SSD applicator. We're using sand-laden manure from the push-off pit next to the barn. The manure is thick with no additional lot runoff or parlor wash water. When slurry seeding, we mix the seed directly in the slurry tank. Bypass flow from the PTO pump provides agitation to keep the seed in suspension and uniformly distributed. The seed-laden slurry is delivered through drop tubes through the fractured and loosened soil behind the aeration tines. The seed finds germination sites in the loosened soil. These are challenging conditions for slurry seeding. The coarse, sandy soil tends to backfill rather than fracturing and creating cracks for seed and manure infiltration. Also, the thick slurry tends to lay on the surface rather than soaking in. This leaves the seed at the surface and exposed to wide swings in temperature and moisture. Not favorable conditions for seed germination and growth. We are interested in ammonia nitrogen loss from the, in these hot, dry conditions, so we are measuring nitrogen loss with these static chambers. In some of the plots, we are drilling the rye. We get good seed to soil contact when drilling. In other plots, we are broadcasting the rye. Broadcasting is a fast seeding method that lays down a 40-foot swath with one pass across the field. After broadcasting, we are covering the seed with a shallow disking and firming the soil with packing rollers. After the drilling and broadcast from the corporation, we are applying the dairy slurry directly over the plots of 7,000 gallons per acre. We may lose some seed to soil contact in the drilled rye, but aeration tillage alleviates shallow soil compaction and leaves a roughened surface that resists wind and water erosion. The rye will grow aggressively as it traps the manure nitrogen and returns the nutrients to next season's crop. It is now October 1st and we have a real nice cereal rye cover crop across the 40 acre site. This strip was no-till drill with dairy slurry and aeration tillage over the top after seeding. It is a nice thick uniform stand. This strip was seeded by broadcasting and incorporating with a disc and rolling packer. The slurry was applied with aeration tillage on the same day after seeding. This is the slurry seeding. As expected, the slurry seeding did not do as well as the other methods in these conditions. Slurry seeding generally provides a good cover crop in untilled ground that fractures, yet maintains some structure after the action of the aeration tines. This is the drilled rye. Dairy slurry will be applied with aeration tillage within the next couple of weeks. This is the broadcast with disc incorporation and roller packing. Dairy slurry will be applied with aeration tillage within the next couple of weeks. We will continue to evaluate crop growth and nitrogen use over the next several months.